What's good you guys and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, I'm Nulwazi, popularly known as Angel Daba. And if you are a regular on this channel, you know the vibes. Please make sure you subscribe, like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every single time I post a new video. Why did I riddle? Why? Today I am going to be reviewing a foundation which I bought about a couple of weeks ago Not even a couple of weeks like two weeks ago um, So I'll be reviewing the Rimmel 25 hour long lasting foundation which is supposed to be full coverage But we will see as the video goes on I really do hope that you enjoy this video and please give it a big thumbs up And also do not forget to subscribe and let's get straight into the video <laughs> you guys so i already done my eyebrows um i'd like to believe that everybody by now knows how to do their eyebrows okay so voila <laughs> i have already done my eyebrows like i said i will be reviewing the 25 hour rimmel foundation and i really hope that this is gonna work because it does have spf 20 and i took mine in the color almond which is my skin color and yeah i'm so actually excited to try this it says it has full coverage it is skin perfecting okay so it is a skin perfecting full coverage foundation so i really hope that it's gonna work and it's gonna make me pretty i am not going to be applying underneath anything underneath mainly because i really want to see if it is a full coverage if i do not have to apply any concealers to cover my dark marks as you guys can see so i'm really excited to try this and see if it works please do excuse me for always looking down i do have a mirror right here where i'm gonna see myself and be able to tell exactly what i am doing because i do not want to come out looking like a ghost okay so i do have to look down on the mirror and see what i get to do and if i'm doing it correctly officially we are doing the first impression we are doing the first impressions i don't know i don't even know how much i'm supposed to apply but i'm thinking okay no it's bad but i'm thinking i don't know not too much we'll see we'll see i'll be using this puffy sponge to actually uh blend the um, foundation on my skin and we'll see how everything turns out so i'm basically using a trick i got from michali that you're not supposed to like roughly blend your foundation you just you just like supposed to be very soft on it very gentle and 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 etc so i'm going to be using that technique and see if it's gonna work mm. i mean this side it's a little bit convincing i don't know it's a little bit convincing i think it is matte it it does look like it, it has a little bit of matte in it i'm not sure and it does have serum as well so that's good mm. it looks very matte it looks very like matte like it, it okay i don't know it looks very matte i don't know if you guys can tell but it is like very matte it's not like a very oily foundation does it really cover the whole scars and acne not really well they didn't really say if like a product for acne but you know considering it is full foundation or full coverage foundation i probably was expecting it to do a very good job i mean it's not bad but i'm just like okay you could have done better i'm still thinking i probably would have to um apply a concealer underneath just so that i hide all the dark marks because i'm thinking you guys can clearly see them 
they're still pretty much there i don't know if maybe it's because i applied a little bit of foundation maybe i should apply a bit more um which means that obviously then I would have to buy the foundation more often than I usually would like to because then I'm using much more of a lot of product so that means the, the, the foundation is gonna quickly finish you know um, nonetheless I do like it I mean skin color wise pretty much my skin color um, I'm not too mad it is you know it is nice it's nice to have on a foundation that looks very matte, especially if you're a person who has oily skin, considering I do have oily skin. Um, I'm loving it. I, I like it. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's really not bad. Hmm. It's not bad, actually. I'm not too mad. Uh... I'm not too mad. I'm really not too mad. Obviously, it can do better. It can do better. I feel like it really, really can do better. But I'm just like, it's not that bad. It, it, it really isn't that bad. Oh my gosh. Hmm. So what I did forget to mention is that I got this for 180 rand, if not a hundred, no, 190 rand. I got this for 190 rand at Clicks, and they were so really kind. They actually helped me find my shade, even during the times of COVID you know they were still very kind enough to be like oh let's actually look for your shade let's test you know because i think when they see who do you really want to buy something they they go through um the process of actually helping you get it or helping you get the right color and everything like that so yeah their service was impeccable not too mad not too mad it's not bad it's not bad but it can definitely do better so right now i'm just gonna go over and do my eyeshadow i don't know what i'm thinking Champ. so i'm gonna be using the la girl concealer just to do my eyeshadows um Okay, so the color that I want to go for, so this is the palette that I'm using, Huda Beauty Gorgeous Me palette, um, quite dirty, sorry, <laughs> but I'm not really sure with the color that I want to go for, but I was thinking something real, oh my gosh, it's so dirty, something real cute, real, like calm, down to earth kind of vibe. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one, this color over here, that is the color that I'm going to go for, it's very down to earth, very, very relaxed, so that's the color that I'm going to go for, and I'm going to be using this typical brush, um, which I basically use for my eyeshadows, especially if I'm looking to like blend or anything like that. Let me just get a little closer. It's there. It's there. I see it. I see it. So I just press it on first before, like, you know, 
blending and everything. I'm just gonna press it on so that the color is popping and you know you can see it or whatever. gonna take this eyeliner well i bought it for my training guys so i can't say for it we guy uskai guy direct look my training that's it so i'm gonna apply this eyeliner Gonna be my first time using this one. I'm not really good at it, but I'm gonna try and we're gonna see. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Next up, I'm just gonna use my concealer to um you know conceal my face, make it look cute. I don't apply too much. Um, because, yeah, I just believe in not applying too much, really. Next up, I'm going to use this design foundation. It's actually a foundation, but I use it as a concealer, as the Dakna concealer. Um, mainly because I just don't have a dark concealer right now. So, this is the perfect shade to actually use in, in replacing the concealer. Next up, I'm going to use my signature loose powder. So basically, this is what I use to bake my face. Um, I don't know. This makeup, I don't know, child. Oh my God. This is what I hate about loose powders. This is what I hate. Look at how messy everything is. So basically, what I usually do is that Oh my god. What I usually do is that I I press my loose powder on my skin instead of like, you know, um baking, I press it on my skin. I don't know if I'm making sense, child, but you know, this is what I do. Here. 
now we're just gonna do our lips um for my lips i actually it's actually a very basic simple step nothing too hectic oh i forgot to do my nose how can i okay so for my lips i actually do something very simple very basic nothing too hectic i'm thinking the brown is kind of like showing too much so i'm just kind of like trying to hide it a little bit yeah so i'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil and just like outline my lips next up i'm just gonna use this um lipstick which i don't really remember where i got but i'm thinking you can probably get these shades still at clicks you know everywhere else where they sell beauty products so you can probably get that still like these kind of shades you know then usually i just go over with my eyebrow pencil once again you know just to make it a little bit dark so yeah guys that is me for today that is basically my full skin beauty full coverage what you call whatever you want to call it um so this is basically my everyday simple makeup this video was about uh this uh, foundation the rimmel 25 hour color stay foundation but i also do wanted to show you guys like how i actually try and create a simple basic makeup look okay <laughs> how i actually try and create a simple basic makeup look but however in terms of this foundation this is a really good foundation it did not do much actually in terms of what i had expected it to considering i was expecting a very full co coverage foundation uh because it does say that it is a full coverage foundation but however it does not it did not state that it's for acne but i was really like expecting it to be really good i'm not too mad about it honestly it did the job that it had to do but obviously i still have to apply the concealers and 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 just so that i can get that you know full full coverage or that um i hit my acne scars kind of a thing you know so yeah it's not too bad it is 180 when it clicks it just came in any other store that sells beauty products love the um packaging it's very stylish as well as you guys can see it has a very stylish um cover or packaging the packaging is very stylish and I absolutely yeah I think this is good it's really good I love the fact that it, it's actually it actually has SPF 20 love the fact that it does the work it makes you look good like literally it makes you look really good and I'm not too mad about it so yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe like this video give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every single time I post a new video until next time mwah. <laughs>